welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to be doing another process video on one of my latest pieces. It's actually going to be a part two of a video that I had done last year, almost a year ago. My channel's about to turn a year old, so I'm so excited. It's actually this piece right here, and this one I'm gonna leave. Um, I'm gonna leave it up in the cards right here. And this is the first one that I did with kind of like that lovebirds theme to it. And today we are going to be doing part two of that, if you will. We are going to be doing this piece right here, and it's kind of like a step up from this piece right here. We are going to be getting into more details when it comes to the tree when it comes to the birds and just creating something a little bit more beautiful I am aware that I'm I am this is a lot of color going on but I really hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and how we came up with this one we included a quote on there very beautiful flowers a lot of different details and texture and techniques in this video so yeah if you want to stick around and see how we came up with this piece then please keep on watching guys so for this video we are going to be working on a different canvas that we that we usually go for this one is a 12 by 24 I believe if I'm wrong then I'm gonna leave the dimensions in the description box below we're gonna be working with this and then we are going to be working with a lot of yellows for our background to start out with but we are using our usual materials I'm gonna do the background with a sponge and then we're going to be using different brushes and I feel that um, I can int introduce you to the new materials as I go along with the video. So to start out, the first thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to go ahead and wet my sponge and we're going to go in with our yellows and our whites to create our usual background where we just stamp the colors, the darker colors all around the canvas and the lighter ones in the middle. All right, so we have our wet sponge and like I mentioned, we're going to be doing our usual background with our but in this case with our yellows, and if you don't know what I'm referring to, um, you can, I'm gonna leave a video right here on the top right corner referring you to other videos where I've used the same technique to create a similar background. So I'm feeling like using a lot of yellows for this background, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. And just mix around to create something very beautiful and just stamping the color all around our canvas. Okay, so now that we have our background all done, we're going to take a square brush like this one and we are going to start building our tree trunk. So what we're going to do is basically, it's super easy, we're going to go ahead and take our white paint and we're going to just freehand our trunk to the, from the top to the bottom and of course it doesn't have to be perfectly straight because natural trunks aren't perfectly <laughs> straight. So we're just going to go ahead and dive into that and take our white paint all the way to the bottom. And do the same with the other side. You can make it as thick or as thin as you'd like. And once we're done, we're just going to fill it in very loosely. We're just going to be very messy about it and just fill the whole thing with white. Just 
Okay, so now that we have that filled in, I'm feeling like doing a little bit of branches, sort of like small little branches, like peeking through the sides. And of course, our main one where the lovebirds are then going to be sitting on. So for that, we're just going to eye it and just feel just you can just feel where you want your branches to be. So for me, I'm thinking of doing one peeking through here. like that and then you can just blend it into the inside and then for our main one I'm thinking of just doing it not right in the middle but a little bit higher than that that way we can do our quote right here on the bottom Okay guys, so now that we have our tree trunk down, we're gonna go ahead and jump into the highlights and shadows of our piece. And that's really what's gonna pretty much bring our piece to life. So what we're gonna do is take the same brush, we're still working with the same brush as we work with the trunk. We're gonna wet it a little bit. And then we're going to start going in with the tiniest bit of the black paint. Just the smallest, dab on there and start going on the sides to create those shadows. So we're going to go on the sides and then from there start doing these kind of like horizontal lines. So for this part, you want your brush to be um, wet enough so that it'll drag the paint, but not as wet or dry enough so that it'll 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 still blend easily. So not too wet and not too dry for this. So we're going like that. And blending that into the background piece. And if you need to, you can also grab a little bit of white and just go in between the crevices and just start creating the same side to side pattern to create that beautiful texture of the trunk. And it's in this part that you really want to take your time with these textures because the more that you spend time on it, like with any painting of course, the more time that you spend on it, the more realistic you can make it look. Um, of course, the more details, the better. And we're just, of course, as you can see, um, we're going to repeat that same pattern of keeping our shadows towards the edges and then our highlights towards the center and just going with that side to side motion all throughout our trunk and our branches. Okay, so this is what we have so far, and now we are going to switch up to the smaller brushes just to add a little bit more definition and a little bit more depth, more detail into our tree. So as you can see, just by switching up brushes, it's just adding a little bit more um, dimension into the tree so that's what we were looking for 
And that's what we're gonna go ahead and just keep doing with our, our entire tree. Just remember that the more time that you spend on it, the better detail you're going to have, the more realistic your tree will look. All right, so now that our tree is all done, we are going to jump into the fun part, which is our lovebirds. Okay, so for our lovebirds, we're gonna go ahead and do a very similar thing that we did with our last lovebirds video, and it's gonna be basically the same shape, but we are going to use a little bit more detail and we are going to make the birds more realistic this time. So what we wanna do is just draw in the shape of our birds first, and for that, we're going to go in with the same small brush that we went in, um, the one that I just showed you, and just freehand the shape of the birds. And what you want to do is just do a circle for a head, like so. So just like that, and just like with the other birds, the body is going to be kind of like an upside down teardrop. Like that. And then instead of going all the way to a point, we're going to do kind of like a, a feathering motion where you do the tail of the bird like that. You feather it out. And then you're gonna fill them out Fill out the entire thing with your white. Okay, and now again to make it a little bit more realistic than that, we are going to do another shape on top of it. So it's going to go from here. You're going to go a little bit up and then like close down to here. Like that. And now with your shadows, when you go in with your shadows, you are going to um, do a shadow right over here so you can differentiate the two. And go like that. And of course, the last thing with our body is the beak. And of course, you don't have to be perfect with your edges. Alright, so that's one down and now we're going to position the other one, just flip to the other side. So we are going to be kissing on the branch, really cute. And we're going to position the other one, just kind of like this. So same thing, we're going to do 
a circle for the head. Then upside down teardrop for the body. Like that, and feather out at the bottom. Then the additional shape right here. And then fill out the entire body. like that and now we're going to go into our detail okay so for our bird I'm really thinking we are going to be doing a chickadee I really love the the colors that it has and it goes along really well I think we're going to stay with the blacks and whites and just a little bit of beige in the tummy I got this image from allaboutbirds.com and this is what we are going to go for in our piece I really want to mimic that I love it for for what we're doing Okay, so since this kind of bird has a different shape to its head, we are going to modify this, what we have already a little bit. It has a wider head, so we are going to go to its side a little bit like so. It's a little bit wider, and then I'm noticing that its tail, it's a little bit longer and thinner, so we are going to go little bit longer than what we had like that and we're going to do the same thing with the other one just kind of widen its head a little bit <laughs> like that and then elongate the tail And now we're going to add a little bit of the accents of black on its head. And I see that it has black right here on the top and a little bit on the bottom too, like close to its neck. I'm just adding black accents where I see them from the picture online and just going through all of the body with those. I'm mixing up just the tiniest bit of brown into our white for the body. And we're going in with that. A little, adding a little bit more of a blend of color, like that. And it has this white part on its chest. Okay, so now the exact same thing that we did with this one right here, we're going to mimic that and do it with the other bird. Alright, 
so this is what our birds look like after all of that. I think that's good enough to kind of demonstrate where you can go with your birds and it's pretty simple and I think anyone will be able to replicate this. So what we're going to do now is another fun touch to our piece. I, I really thought it would be a really neat idea to add a little bit of flowers. Why not? <laughs> you, you guys know I love doing floral videos and stuff. So I whipped out my red and pink and our white that we've been using and I'm going to be using the kind of like the fluffy frayed brush <laughs> that I showed you earlier. We're going to be using that just to add a few flowers here and there just scattered it around not a lot of them and just add that beautiful extra touch so what I usually do with my brushes is dip into the white and dip into like the pink or whatever color you're going to do your flowers just dip them together but not mix them just dip into them individually and then whenever wherever wherever you want your flower you can just do like a touch and then twist like that and then touch and twist touch and twist three times and you get a beautiful flower that's all i do whenever you want to do something that's very simple very easy Let's do that again and just continue to do that wherever um, you want to add your flowers. This is not a mandatory step. You can leave this out if you want, but I really wanted to do some flowers for this piece. If you want to add a little bit of red to your blend, then you can do that. Can okay, I do the same thing? Touch and twist, touch and twist. I really like how the flowers are turning out with the red, so I'm going to continue to do that. Add more red and pink. And I'm just adding a little bit of extra touches all around our piece. And it's pretty simple. You just touch and twist like that, touch and twist like that, and it creates the shape of a very beautiful petal. like so. I think that's going to be enough for our flowers and now we are going to be adding our little quote to the bottom and I think that's going to be our last step. Okay so one last thing that I wanted to do before we move on into our quote was just add a little bit of gold into the center of each flower. So just doing like a dot. Just doing like a dot of gold inside right in the center of each flower. All right, so now we can move on to our quote. Okay, so for our quote, what we're gonna be doing, instead of just painting it on, we are going to be grabbing some cardstock letters, some letters that I've pre-cut, and I just chose the quote, just love. <laughs> just something like very simple to put on there, and all we're gonna do is just atta attach these with our hot glue gun. You just want to be careful that if you don't want to smear your paint, you do, you do want to wait till it is completely dry to do this. Okay, so let's position this to where we want it. I think that's a little bit too low. We're going to move it to here, I think. I think that's a much better position, so all we're going to do is again just attach it on with our hot glue gun.
Whenever you're doing something like this where you're attaching letters onto a canvas, if you want to go ahead and do and take the extra time to add a layer of Mod Podge on top and just decoupage the letters onto the canvas, you can go ahead and do that. But today for the for the sake of time, I'm not going to do that and just leave it as is, but just know that that's an extra step that you can go ahead and do. And there we go. Now for the very last step, I'm just adding my signature to the bottom and you can do so as well. And this is what our final piece looks like. She's hanging up nice and proud now and this is the final outcome of our tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed this and I really hope you give it a shot at home and if you do, don't forget to tag me on social media. I'd love to see your work and the pieces that you guys come up with. I really hope this tutorial was helpful but as always, if you have any questions, let me know. I'll be more than happy to help you out. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit that notifications bell as well. That way you'll be in the know whenever I post a new video on my channel. It'll alert you with a notification. So yeah, do that. And also give this video a big old thumbs up. Thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to come back for more videos videos like these and if you have any suggestions for future videos I'd love to know as well. Hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you all on my next video. Bye guys!